More than Trainiacs. Coeur d'Alene. So Trainiacs, we're here, the airport. NTK, myself, will change of plans from Mel, the usual company year of triathlon Terran to races. So, NTK. And I put out on Instagram yesterday that uh, we would answer questions about just whatever. How you doing? You want to say anything? You want to say hi? Hello. Hi. Canadian coffee. It's not good, the Tim Hortons. Sam asks, how did you propose to NTK? Take it away. Uh, we were watching Homeland on the couch and uh, Gracie, we, Gracie was still a puppy and she had just eaten poo in the yard, well not the yard, in the, on the balcony of the condo and uh, he uh, pulled out a ring in that very romantic environment. From my sweatpants. And I knelt down on the dog bed. I am did, so Did romantic. you kneel? Kind of not really kneel. Sure, I did. I knelt. Not like on one knee though. No, it was. Yeah, it was. Brandon asks, what is the single most important piece of advice you can give to someone racing their first 70.3? Well, I don't know. There, there's a lot. I would that's say a this, broad question. that's a very broad question. That's like how to triathlon. I would actually say come in with a mindset that it's going to be hard. I would like to remind you about carry on baggage, check your bag, and you and eat sick. Come in with a mindset that is stronger than the other people out there. So everyone is going to be nervous, everyone is going to be hurting, but if you come in knowing that you're going to be nervous and that's okay, and that it's going to hurt and that's okay, and all you're looking to do is just go through that process and enjoy the process without like letting those demons of like, oh this sucks, this sucks, get into your head. I think you'll have a better race than a lot of the people that let that seep into negativity. I think that's an answer that kind of broad enough that it covers it. Mike says, what is your biggest regret in life that you missed out on? You said you have an answer for this. Yes, that I didn't uh, continue learning French after high school. Who wants to learn French? That's not nice. Right. You have, there's France people watching you. Okay. Sorry, France. And I, also uh, guitar that I didn't uh, ever follow up on playing guitar. Uh, I would then follow that up with that I didn't pursue rhythmic dance. Last question before we have to hop onto the plane. Cesari says, going back to when you started making serious gains in triathlon, what do you wish you knew earlier? That pushing yourself into a really uncomfortable place, be it speed or... Uh, distance that you're doing that's where you start making gains in your training so it was when I started doing like really fast intense bursts on the track pushing longer than 8k then to 9k then to 12k what is it progress progress happens at the edge of discomfort how'd that flight go you danced a lot. So this is a tight connection here. Patrick asks, what do I eat the morning of the race? About two slices, small little toast, just a little bit of light honey or uh, peanut butter. Raymond asks, how much faster is the Ventum than the Cervelo? At the same perceived exertion, probably a kilometer to a mile faster, but it also takes a lot less out of my body because it's more stable in crosswinds. So that's good. Gotta hurry. We're here. Oh, hello. Right. Hi. So, we're in Coeur d'Alene right now. Mm -hmm. And staying at an awesome place thanks to this guy, hero of the week, Phil, doing his first race. Last couple of questions for the day. Number one. Uh, Miriam, what can I do to be a good Sherpa? I guess that's for me. That's for you. Um, oh boy. 
That's, uh, Photos. Oh, yes, okay. Understand the moods? spouse is going to be extremely grumpy. The moods, the many moods. Hold the mounds of food yes. that come after the race. Have food ready and prepared, and don't take it personally when they bark at you because they're grumpy and tired. Yeah. Um, next one, Benjamin. Uh, does triathlon make you guys closer? When is NTK do doing her first race? You be the answerer of that first one. Does it make us closer? Yes. I don't know. It, it allows me time alone in the house uh, where you can't mess it up when I'm by myself. You are so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what was the other question? When uh, are you doing your first race? Oh, that's a long way off. Like, it's NTK. Yes, N. N. No. All right. Yeah. Uh, next question. Robbie, how do you manage work training relationship? I'd probably be a bad person to ask because we've built a garage and my commute is 18 feet away. So I do garage my training the in there, I do my work in there, and uh, that makes it easier. And um, work is triathlon. I'd be a bad person to ask. I will link to a video there where a friend of mine who's done a 107, 106 or 105 sprint and he owns a company that is cleaning pools, which is the worst business to have if you want to be a good triathlete, and he's an awesome triathlete. He's a better person to ask. And, but how do you manage uh, training and relationship? So well, we're doing it. <laughs> uh, Corey, does the pain cavern stink? Yes, but not of what you think, not of we're sweat. We're working on it. Not of sweat and grossness. It, uh, it stinks of off-gassing of paint and uh, the glue from the flooring. The entire flooring is OSB particle board on top of foam, and that makes it nice and warm in there, but I didn't realize that it's going to smell like glue for about a year. So, uh, it really smells like glue. Yeah, not good. Uh, Fletcher, what made you want to do triathlon? Excellent one to end off on. Um... I will give you the brief story, and then you should go listen to the very first podcast that we ever did where mm -hmm. she interviewed me. Yeah, um, and goes like, we went really deep, really deep into his background and history and life. Essentially, I wanted to, I wanted to challenge myself with something that scared the hell out of me. I had lost a fair bit of weight from weightlifting, but wasn't really passionate about it, and then I got hurt a bunch, of, bunch from weightlifting, and then I started biking one day a week and I'm like this is boring and then I mixed up biking and then running on the treadmill I'm like well that's boring and then I started swimming and then a friend of mine who was a really elite under 21 athlete that I went to school with Jacques. he said Jacques he said um yeah you could do a triathlon and I'm like how do you do it how do you do a triathlon and he's like well you enter <laughs> and then you do it and then I did a triathlon and here and we that, are and that's how you do it mm -hmm. and that was it now we're going to go enjoy the lovely Coeur d'Alene town. In the company of Phil yes. and Cindy. Very excited. Yes. Shout out to Phil and Cindy who mm -hmm. are feet away. You'll mm -hmm. meet them on future videos. The best. Bye. Right. Later. <laughs> <laughs>